This is a demonstration of Data Curve Fit Creator add-in. In this demo, what I'm going to be showing you is how to use array formulas in Microsoft Excel. This is uh, very relevant for Data Curve Fit Creator add-in in particular because many of the functions in Data Curve Fit Creator add-in return multiple values. Basically, they return arrays. And so you have to know how to use array formulas in order to get uh, the values back correctly. It's pretty simple, but just there's a little trick that you need to know that sometimes uh, it just is, isn't documented very well uh, in Excel, and uh, uh, so that's why I just wanted to demonstrate that for you to show you how to do that. Um, let's take an example, and I'll show you with a simple example how to how to do that. Let's take uh, I'm going to put some values in here, and I'm going to use the transpose function, which is a built-in function in Microsoft Excel, which returns which is an array formula. It returns multiple values. What transpose does is it just simply uh, uh, transposes an array so that it turns the columns into rows and rows into columns. So if I've got an input that's uh, three rows, uh, one row and three columns, then transpose will turn that into one column, three rows. So <clears throat> in order to use that, what I basically do is We'll follow these three steps here. First, you select the cells where you want the results to go. Now, you're going to have to know what size the output is going to be. In this case, I know that it's going to be uh, one column, three rows. So I've selected these three cells. Next, you enter the formula. So I'll say equals transpose. And I give it the input and close the parentheses. Now, in this point, at this point, normally in Excel, you would just hit the Enter key and you would be done. But since this is an array formula, you have to do a special trick in order to tell Excel that you want to uh, receive back multiple values from the function. And uh, that special trick is you have to hold, instead of just hitting Enter, you hold down Control and Shift, the Control and Shift keys, and then while you're holding them down, then you hit Enter. And when you do that, then you get all three values as part of a, a linked array. And these cells are linked with one function. Two ways that you can tell that they're linked. First, you see the curly brackets. And second, if you try and delete one of them, I'll hit the delete key now, you get this error message. Can't change that part of an array. To delete something like this, you have to highlight all the cells in the array. And then you hit delete. So that's basically how it works. Uh, you know, very simple. Uh, just remember that, Control, Shift, Enter, and, and you should be all set. Now let's go back to the original data, the original example that I had, and let's, let's uh, take a look at that. Let's try that out. Let's say I have this data and I want to run a median filter on it. Um, when I show you this example, there's one additional uh, little thing to keep in mind that, um, that you'll want to know. Uh, for many of the uh, functions that in Data Curve Fit Creator add-in, or for if you're if you're not familiar with a particular function, even in you know built-in function in Excel, this uh, function wizard or insert function uh, uh, dialog that you can uh, use is very useful. Uh, you can uh, it lists all the functions by category. You can go down if you go down to user defined, then you see the Data Curve Fit Creator add-in functions there. And you can pick median filter, and it can step you through the process. Okay, source data, go and select your data. Window size, I've got a cell reserved for that. And then you can say, okay. The problem with that, it's not a real problem, just thing to keep in mind is it doesn't allow you to do the control shift enter from that function wizard. But that's no real problem because it gives you the full uh, the full syntax and everything that you need. Basically, it gives you your full function right there. So what you can do is then go and highlight your cells where you want your data to go, and just click inside the formula bar, uh, the formula editor, and uh, and then you can click. Uh, then basically, you can do your Control Shift Enter from there, and uh, and you've got your your array. So. It's something to keep in mind. Just remember always the control, uh, control shift enter, and you should be all set with the array formulas. Uh, any more questions? If you have any more questions about uh, uh, data curve fit creator add-in, take a look at our website srs1software.com. You can see more videos and download the software. It's a 30-day trial, and uh, uh, and also if you have any feedback, you can uh, email us at feedback at srs1software.com. Thank you very much.